The Electrical Engineering Department at the UCLA Henry Samueli School of Engineering and Applied Science is better positioned than ever to address the technological challenges of our society. The department is comprised of 37 research groups and nine research centers and institutes, which are populated by close to 50 faculty members, 400 graduate students, and 600 undergraduate students. The Electrical Engineering Department at the UCLA is a highly dynamic environment. We're committed to excellence in both teaching and the research. Through partnership with government agencies and the industry, the level of research funding has been in excess of $25 million a year. This level of the support speaks loudly to the quality of the research activities that are pursued by our faculty members. Research and education activities span three interdisciplinary areas that make up the electrical engineering department. These areas are circuits and embedded systems, physical and wave electronics, and signals and systems. The circuits and embedded systems faculty converge on research focusing on low power electronics, communication circuits, integrated circuits, and other areas. An example of a major industry breakthrough with close ties to the electrical engineering department was the work by Professor Henry Samueli on broadband communication circuits. This led to the creation of Broadcom, another major industry player in the wireless revolution. There would be no Broadcom if it wasn't for the basic foundation of knowledge that I learned not only as a student, but then evolved as a faculty member working with then my new students who had joined as masters and PhD students to help me build a research program. It is that creation of knowledge in a stimulating environment with world-class students, world-class researchers as your partners and collaborators uh, that's truly unique. Several research labs comprise the circuits and embedded systems area, such as the Parallel Data Architectures group of Professor Dayan Markovic. My research is focused on energy efficient integrated circuits for future communication and healthcare devices. Several regular and associated faculty are members of the National Academy of Engineering and the National Academy of Sciences. Professor Patel from Physics and Electrical Engineering is also a recipient of the U.S. National Medal of Science. Thirty-two of our faculty members are fellows of professional societies in their fields of expertise. Physical and wave electronics make up the second research area in the department which covers a broad range of fundamental subjects involving deep space communications, electromagnetics, nanotechnology, and other areas. Here at the UCLA, we have two national centers. They're funded by a consortium of semiconductor company, as well as federal government. Our research focuses in the area of nanomaterials, devices, which are the elements to make smart, energy efficient, electronic systems. This is what will be the future of electronics based on nanotechnology. Assistant Professor Idagon Oskin's research has already received several accolades and broad press coverage through the New York Times, the BBC, and other venues. What we envision is these advanced equipment to be simplified. What you see here is a regular cell phone that you use except that they're modified with less than $10 worth of parts. We envision having the blood of the patient put on a simple microscope slide. The sample is loaded to the cell phone through the side, just like you insert a memory stick. As simple as that, we've captured the uh, images of, of the cells. Professor Chan Joshi, another faculty member in the physical and wave electronics area, has made fundamental contributions to our understanding of extremely nonlinear optical effects in plasmas. We are working on a new technology using plasma, which is ionized gas, as a medium to build high energy accelerators for the 21st century. This work is important because it will lead to accelerators of the future. These accelerators are needed for exploring the nature of matter and forces. The third research area in the department is signals and systems. Faculty in this group are advancing research in many areas, including communications technologies, speech, image processing, and adaptation and learning. Professor Jin Lee's biomedical imaging lab analyzes humans' largest circuit, the brain, and searches for new therapies for brain disease. 
My lab works on developing technology to develop methods to systematically analyze how the brain functions. The brain is a very complex circuit that makes it very difficult for us to know what it's doing, which also makes it difficult for us to find understanding and cure for the different brain disorders, such as Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, and depression. These are the diseases that we're looking at currently to provide systematic analysis and uh, debugging options where we develop therapies. The research of Professor John Villasenor extends into the areas of hardware security and wireless communication. One of the things that we're looking at and spending quite a bit of effort uh, developing are methods to make sure that if a uh, hardware attack actually does get launched from within a, an integrated circuit in a device that's already out in the product or in the field somewhere, that attack can be identified and, and uh, stopped and appropriately dealt with uh, in real time as it's occurring. Professor Mahela Vandashar, faculty member in Signals and Systems, has published extensively on multimedia communications. We are doing work on systematic foundations and theories for multi-user communication systems and networks. For example, we are looking at how multiple uh, cell phones or wireless devices can autonomously coordinate to share a particular wireless spectrum. This is very important in today's communication systems because more and more users are sharing the same amount of spectrum at the same location, and hence they are competing for these resources. The Electrical Engineering Department has many student-led groups that provide valuable experiences outside the classroom. One such program is the Open Project Space, or OPS, which was initiated by the student-led organization IEEE the Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers. For the ops program, the students are given this box. This box contains all the materials that they need in order to complete the projects that we give them. They get, for instance, uh, motors and wheels, uh, which they can use to create a robot. Uh, every week, a student volunteer would come in and they'll give a tech talk. For instance, they learn about integrated circuits, embedded systems. These are some of the skills that companies will want to see when they look at a resume. My name is Raymond Liu. I am the president of HKN, which stands for Ada Kappa Nu. It is the Electro and Computer Engineering Honor Society here at UCLA. Many of the things that we offer here at UCLA are our tutoring program, which offers drop-in tutoring for any engineering student here at UCLA, and our mentorship program that accepts every single E freshman and transfer student that comes here into UCLA. Research at UCLA Electrical Engineering has been a catalyst for discoveries that have led to modern-day advancements. Many former students and faculty have launched companies that have become industry leaders and innovators. Some department breakthroughs include the work of former professor Andrew Viterbi, who revolutionized the area of digital and wireless communications through the development of the Viterbi algorithm and the founding of Qualcomm, a major industry player in the wireless domain. Other breakthroughs include the work of Professor Henry Orchard, who developed computer-aided filter design tools, and Professor Asad Abidi, who developed the first CMOS radio. What we were successful in doing was to bring these ideas onto microelectronic circuits and take some very sophisticated concepts that were previously just for the aerospace and turn them to the commercial industry. Recent innovations include extensive research in the area of wireless sensing systems and the development of the first silicon laser 